Hello, my friends, it's Beth Piantoni here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I want to share with you my top five tips for staying hydrated. So right now, we're in full swing with summer, and these past couple weeks, it's been really hot out, and maybe we've been more active outside. It's been really sunny and beautiful, and so we really want to make sure that we're paying attention to our body and staying hydrated. So why is hydration water so important? We know that we need it to survive, but why? So first, what's really interesting to share is that our body is actually made up of 60% water. So this is including our heart and our brain and our blood and even part of our bones. So as you can see, we really need water for us to function at an optimal level. Some really important things that it does for us is that it helps with our digestion and our bowel movements. It helps detoxify our body. It helps with improving our skin and keeping it nice and youthful. It also helps with our, our mind and how we focus and our mood. It helps lubricate our joints. It also helps maintain body temperature and stabilize our blood pressure. So what are some signs if you're dehydrated? I think the first one that's really helpful is taking a look at your urine after you go to the bathroom. If it's a dark color, most likely you are dehydrated, so it should be a yellow light color. Also, if you're experiencing more headaches or muscle cramps, dry mouth, or if your skin is really dry, it's definitely time to drink up. So how much water should you drink? So what you wanna do is you wanna take your weight and then divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water you should try to consume a day. And this is also gonna depend on the environment as well and your activity level. So it's been hot out, and if you're moving your body more and you're sweating a lot more, you may need to add a little bit more in. Again, go by your urine color, because that will be a really helpful gauge on how much you should be consuming. Tip number one, start your day off immediately with water. So instead of going for coffee or tea, try to aim for a full glass of water first. I've been doing this for quite some time and it's amazing what a difference I actually feel with my energy levels, but it also gets your body hydrated right away and helps flush out any toxins that have been built up in the digestive system. Great habit to get into and I'm telling you, you'll really notice a difference with this one. Tip number two, keep a water close by at all times. So I keep a water at my desk at all times. I keep one in the car. I keep one right by my bed. Everywhere you go, try to keep a water bottle with you. You know, find one that really works for you, one that might even have a marker on there so you know exactly how much you're drinking. But if you always have it with you, then you'll be constantly reminded that you need to drink up. Tip number three, Use some tools that may help support your success with drinking more water. So one thing that's really worked for me is I actually use a straw lately. And I really like it because it helps me actually get more water in when I'm drinking. And there's some other things that you can do too. You can use, an, uh, there's plenty of apps out there that will help keep track of your water intake. Also, um, using your Outlook calendar or an alert on your phone to help remind you to drink up. So really thinking about what tools are gonna to help support your success so it's very easy for you to get enough water in. Tip number four, water is always going to be your best option for hydration. So really trying to limit sugary drinks such as soda and sweetened teas, juices and Gatorades. Also avoiding too much alcohol because that dehydrates you along with caffeinated beverages, having too much of those such as coffee and tea. And if you find yourself getting bored with just water, feel free to mix it up a little bit. I love adding lemon in here. You can add different fruits um, and, or infused water recipes are great and they really can really spice things up and make it tastier for you. So feel free to get creative and just know that water is always the best form of hydration. Tip number five, try to have a glass of water if you can before every meal. So this is good because this will help you differentiate if you're really hungry or if you're really just thirsty and dehydrated. Plus, by having a full glass of water before you eat, it will help keep you a little bit more full so you won't eat as much as well.
I hope that you found this helpful and if anything this is just a nice reminder of how important it is to keep your body hydrated especially during these hot summer days when we get dehydrated very quickly and uh, to pay attention to your body really notice how your body is functioning and feeling so thanks so much for joining us and stay tuned for more videos keep taking good care of yourself and we'll see you soon bye bye